What's up fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to, pair, uh, to talk about a new patch which is 1.5 what is coming, what you can expect in the channel and everything and also I must um, tell you one thing fellas, the last week was kind of messy for me since I had flu, you did not had uh, uploads in a normal way as usual so we are going to fix everything from this week fellas so keep that in mind and I'm sorry for um, issues if you had some right um, also what you can expect first of all 1.5 patch is huge okay it is huge patch um, there is a premium account changes uh, there is new vehicles, as you can see right there, Swedish medium tanks, the Type 5 heavy nerf, the FAVA uh, trash burn nerf, right? So, a lot of interesting stuff is happening here, and today, fellas, if you are here for gameplay, you are not going to see any, uh, because I want to talk about the changes, what they are going to do, and uh, what they have done, and what do I think, and I believe... The first thing which we need to talk about is the Swedish mediums which you can see I did not test it out myself but you can be sure you are going to get content with the Swedish mediums tomorrow, today, um, whenever I'm going to start the stream, right, I'm going to stream for roughly 6-8 hours. Uh, what I will do, my main goal is going to be to play with Udes. I will, I have some free experience so I can free XP it and we will check it out. What those tanks are capable of, is it, is it good, is it bad and we are going to do um, a tech tree showcase of those vehicles or maybe three games each uh, those tanks so you will have general crew, clue and my first impressions. Also ML changes was there, ML, ML2 and Kranwagen is changed. Um, I don't know, are they changed in the good way or bad way? I don't know. I know one thing, um, they changed the gun on this vehicle and now it has 3 shots and 440 alpha damage. So once again, give me some time, I will provide you with all information which is possible and I will try to be as accurate as I can. So this week on the YouTube channel you will see a lot of things with uh, with the new stuff. For example, I believe one day we are going to have a um, conversation about the Type 5 because it changed currently. It has 900 uh, average alpha damage but it has uh, 192 penetration. You know what 192 penetration means? You can penetrate IS-3 frontally like this. So it's going to be quite interesting and this is a big question, is Type 5 heavy buffed or not buffed? And a lot of people was kind of sad about the fact, well it's not, it's not this, okay remove this one. Whee! A lot of people was obsessed, uh, upset, uh, Type 5 heavy is kind of pay to win and right there you can see it even harder because both uh, both shells is doing the same amount of damage right there, right? And uh, funny thing is uh, the gold ammunition have even more, like twice more penetration, which is not changing anything and so on. So we will uh, play with this vehicle and we will check it out, right? Um, what do we have next? We have... Uh, premium account changes, which is kind of controversial topic, right? And uh, fellas, I made my decision, I was thinking, I was thinking about blocking mines and blocking, uh, um, and blocking the overlord, because I can't stand those maps and they are pissing me off, okay? But since I am community contributor, since I should feel pretty much all gaming experience, I'm not going to block them. And if some people is interested how it's working, all you need to do, you need to click on your name right there and then you need to exactly, uh, uh, pick the maps which you don't want to see, okay? If you hate uh, uh, Ghost Town, block the Ghost Town. If you hate import, uh, uh, Empire's Border, just block Empire's Border. If you hate Prokurovka, block Prokurovka. And you can, and you can do this. Uh, 
in my opinion, I should not do this, even though there is a lot of maps which I don't like, but I'm not going to do this because I think it's going to be not fair uh, by me. And uh, we have 37 maps right there, as you can see. Um, I am not going to block any of those. It doesn't matter how much I hate mines and people which, which is watching the stream from time to time, you know what kind of feelings do I have about this map, right? Uh, so yeah, this is my decision, I made it, I'm feeling happy with it and I am not going to block it for now. Uh, next, uh, World of Tanks premium changes, right? Basically, you are getting some free stuff, uh, you are getting some kind of uh, safe uh, which you can open in the end of the week. Uh, you are getting uh, three times experience when you and you can activate it whenever you want to. Basically, what War Gaming is doing right there, they notice that um, their old premium account is not giving that much benefit, so they decide to um, simply make a new one and attract more people uh, to spend money on the game. That's how everything is working. Is it better than old premium account? Absolutely. Uh, and in the same way, you know, it is their business model and I am feeling very, very good with it. I'm not complaining. I am just feeling golden, if I can say so, right? So for me, it doesn't matter. And let's get real. The game should make money if uh, people is enjoying the game and if people is willing to spend. So uh, it's up to you. Are you going to buy it or not? And one of the funnest things, fellas... Um, one of the topics which, in my opinion, is quite funny. Um, the thing is, what happened now, uh, looks like Arta got Tiny Touch nerfed. And uh, uh, before this patch started, right? Um, I would say it is not, it's not going to change anything. The main problem is not, uh, fellas, the main problem is not of one Arta, okay? Arta will be annoying even though if you are going to make it uh, able to fart thunder on you, it's going to be annoying anyways. The most important thing which we're gaming missed right there and we're gaming if you are looking this, think about it. We One Arta in the battle is fine, but when there is three Artas, it doesn't matter what map, apart city maps where, you know, it doesn't matter. If you are getting Kempinovka with the three Artas, no one is going to do anything. If you are getting Prokurovka with three Artas, look what people are saying of your own game, saying F-U-V-G. That's what people is saying when they are noticing three Artas and Prokurovka. I saw many examples of this and I'm not even acting surprised. And for me as a, com as a player, first of all, it's not very enjoyable gaming experience. Three Artas is too much. Make one Arta per team and life is going to be beautiful. And you don't need to think about the nerfing uh, um, Artas or something, right? It's my opinion, it's only me fella so yeah anyways uh there is a basically what we're gaming did right there art is going to stun you less um that's what they did and uh, if art is shooting you when uh, when you are already stunned you are getting restunned for less amount of the time but in my opinion i mean it's not going to be the game changer or something so this is my opinion about this and uh, yeah, fellas, looks like this is it, fellas. Looks like this is it. This is the patch which we have right now. So um, once again, I want to repeat everything. What do I, what am I planning to do and what I am thinking? What I will do, fellas? Uh, today I will play with um, today I will play with uh, Udes. I have a lot of blueprints. How it's working like? Uh, I need I need to have uh, I need to have the Swedish blueprints. Well, that was smart. Uh, that was very very smart I, uh, idea by War Gaming. I'm not going to even bother to say anything right there. I need to spend free experience, anyways, right? Um, so quick information: what I'm going to do and what you can expect uh, from this channel once again, fellas. Um, you are going to see the news 
of the changes of the vehicles like Kranwagen, ML2, ML1. You are going to see the new tanks like uh, Udes medium tanks. Um, I will think about how to make a Tech 3 showcase of those, should I start from the tier 5, which I don't really think is going to happen, or from the tier 8, tier 9, tier 10 and play some battles. You will see the first impressions of the tanks and we'll see how today everything will go and what kind of things I'm going to have. Oh, by the way, um, Wargaming stuff was extremely kind to me and they gave uh, um, NAS server account. So I officially have NAS server account which I did not bother uh, borrow it for, from other people or something. So this is information. So you might see some kind of stuff on the NAS server very, very, very soon, fellas. Yep, and this is it. So fellas, thank you so much for watching. It was a big pleasure for me to look at everything and to talk about the things, right? Um, tomorrow it's going to be way more interesting video, I can tell you that and I can't wait till I will get my hands to the Swedish medium tanks, fellas. It is, I am feeling like a child in the toy shop. I'm just excited and I am waiting for it. So thank you so much for watching fellas. It was a pleasure and see you tomorrow. Tomorrow the real stuff will happen. See you.